Yeah, yeah. What's up everybody, once again, my name is Brandman Sean and today we're going over four reasons why your project release strategy doesn't matter. What you talking about, brand man? I know it might throw you off at first, but we'll quickly go over why and then I'll tell you what does matter. Number one is you need to experiment. And I don't necessarily just mean your music and seeing what people like or what they don't like. You also need to experiment on what works for you as far as branding and what works for you as far as just your marketing and how the people receive the things that you do. And you never get that opportunity if you aren't actually out there doing it. This isn't something you can do in the bedroom. And then we get into number two, you don't know what people will like most. You can mastermind, be up there like a scientist, got your beakers and you at the computer typing up this master plan, all that shit. And you could be working on a song that people don't like. And then you could have some kind of song where you on the toilet and it just comes to you out of nowhere and then next thing you know you hop up on the mic and then just freestyle in like five minutes. And then that's the song that blows up and makes you that man for the rest of your life. But you never know if you don't put this stuff out there. People can't react until you give them something to react to. And then we have this time period where a lot of music can lose its relevance if you wait five months, six months, a year. I know a lot of people that recorded some great music about about five years ago and never released it and now it was a hit it's not a hit now number three which is so important you increase your chances of being discovered everybody doesn't necessarily have to create a huge following huge wave and brand before they get a record deal or before they encounter somebody who can help their career and boost them up but damn near everybody does have to have something out there right if you have music out there maybe you might only have 500 followers but you have it on Spotify and YouTube and SoundCloud in a few places, then there's this serendipitous moment of someone having the ability to find your stuff and then they might know somebody and say, hey, talking to an a and or somebody at a record label and say, yo, we need to check this kid out. We can scoop this kid before anybody else knows him and then we get credit for creating them. You don't have that opportunity if your music isn't actually out for people to hear. And number four, which is what a lot of artists do not think about, but nobody knows or will know or care probably you might get known and be known by a few people who are in your immediate circles on your first time out and first push but because a lot of people don't have experience with marketing and access and resources to get it out to the masses a lot of times you have that immediate circle that seems so important that immediate few blocks away from you that seem so important but at the end of the day when you blow up people will not even know about a lot of times the music you start off with remember russ if you do know him, I did a video on him before, he made 11 albums by himself and I heard the music, but most people have never heard that music and you go back now, you can't even find those first 11 albums. Lupe Fiasco was making more pop type music when he first got signed to them early record deals that were trying to change him, but by the time he blew up with Kick Push and the stuff that he's known for, you can't find that other music. You always have the opportunity to rebrand. As long as nobody knows you, you're actually in a fortunate position to continuously recreate yourself into something that you want. It's when people actually get to know you that things get hard and more rigid in your movement. So it doesn't matter if there are 100 people that know you and 60 of them think that that song is trash. So now let's dig into what matters the most. You can't win unless you get in the fucking game. You have to put your music out there to start are winning yes strategy helps put you in the right place but the championships are won from your adjustments so understand I'm not saying that your project drop doesn't matter at all but what I really want people to understand I want you to understand that if you are dropping your first project you're early in the game don't worry too much about the mastermind because it's really the grind after the fact that matters that's where most people lose because they aren't able to adjust to what people like they aren't able to adjust to realize oh that's not my strength that's my strength that's my sound that I should be following up on it's those adjustments that allow you to really win and create a lasting career you have to get in the game to even understand and experience those things there are a lot of unknown factors don't try to mastermind everything because if you haven't been here before you can't mastermind it. you don't even know all the factors you can't even imagine all the factors the unknown will happen so for the last time you have to get in the game strategy will help put you in the right position but the adjustments is when and where you will win the championships which is your career that's it Hit that subscribe button.